Good evening. The polls will open in just 13 hours for the midterm elections. And the focus today for President Trump, Ohio, Indiana, and Missouri, where he is making campaign stops. So what is the impact here in Pennsylvania? Political editor John Delano takes a closer look. His name is not on the ballot, but in this election, President Trump has been everywhere, visiting Pennsylvania twice and many other states in the run-up to the midterm elections. I need you to vote for a Republican House and a Republican Senate. And all this campaigning has political strategists in both parties agreeing on one thing. Has this election become a referendum on President Trump? This election is certainly a referendum on President Trump. There's no doubt this election is a referendum on Trump. In fact, he's made it all about him. On the stump and in their TV ads, candidates are doing the same. Both Republicans Lou Barletta and Scott Wagner have repeatedly invoked Trump's name and his words. He's going to be one hell of a governor. He's tough, he's smart, Scott Wagner. But whether Trump is helping or hurting Republicans is debatable. Democratic political strategist Mike Mickus says, at least in Pennsylvania, Trump hurts his candidates. I think it's going to be a very bad night for Republicans as a result. But Republican political strategist Mike Devaney says it will bring pro-Trump voters to the polls. If you're a supporter of the president uh, for the Republican base, that certainly gins them up. It gives them enthusiasm to go to the polls in a congressional election. But Micah says Trump is increasing turnout for Democrats. If you are unhappy with Donald Trump and the direction he's taking our country, You've got to vote Democratic because that's the only way there can be a check on what he's doing in Washington. Once again, this election has turned out to be a referendum on President Trump because the president wants it that way. It makes it kind of easy for voters. If you like what the president has done, you vote Republican. If you don't, you vote Democratic. We'll know what the voters decide coming up Tuesday night. I'm John Delano, KDKA TV News.